Hey guys, what's up? Um, um, I kind of feel like I haven't been on here in a while. The last videos I did were more like, kind of like personal videos, and I know you guys like those, but I feel like, you guys know I don't really do like spouse stuff, like I'm not really into like spouse stuff, so I'm not gonna be doing like a lot of that, um, maybe more than usual, but. I, will, I obviously will do whatever the fuck I'd like to do. Like, we know that. Something's wrong with my face, like, okay. So I just got back from New Orleans and I think I'm fat, like, to be honest, I think I'm fat because like the food there is, everything is like fried, like everything is fried. So I know I've gained some weight from that trip. Um, so you'll have to just excuse me. I'm like obviously obese right now, but um, oh my God, don't. And I'm just gonna tell you to shut up right now. Just stop. I don't just, we're not gonna get off on the wrong foot already. Just, you need to go fuck off. Honestly, stop. Like you're really irritating me. Um, but the sleepy droop is good. Like I feel like it's okay. It's not like totally perfect. I'm not been, I've, it's kind of like fucking me up lately. Like I'm not doing the best job on it. Um. I also wanna give you guys a trick about sleepy droop. It's something that you like need to do. And I'm just feeling very generous right now to even tell you this because I feel like a lot of the times you need to figure it out yourself. You know what I mean? All right, so it's really important to take a um, brown liner. After you do the black, take a like a dark brown liner and smudge it just right in here. I don't know what it does. It like. I don't want it to soften it, but it kind of like gives it a, a different kind of depth. Um, and I really think it's necessary. Like when I don't have my brown pencil, it doesn't look as good. Can you see? I don't know if you can see, but um, so yeah, that's a little trick I wanted to show you guys. Cause I know a lot of you guys are like, just don't get it. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to like be helpful to people who just don't get it. Like a lot of you guys already knew that. <laughs> Probably like already just knew. Um, Anyway, okay, so today is just gonna be, I'm gonna like talk to you guys, tell you guys a bunch of shit. Um, I was just going to, okay, so you guys know I like go to this coffee place and I like love this coffee place, whatever. I go to this coffee place frequently and um, this is my locked and loaded and um, I love this piece so much. It's like, a, I love this, it's really solid, it's really gorgeous, but it's also like a lariat. Um, and so you can wear it like anywhere, clasp it anywhere on this like really gorgeous thick chain. And I love that huge clasp closure. Okay, um, but I just wanna show you, and this is my Rupave. And then a lot of you guys, um, these are my Studio 54 and my Super Gleam. These are both real gold, you know that. And a lot of you guys are start, are starting to, I don't know, you go in waves. It's like you, it's like you don't buy these for a while and then you buy them. Um, you need this. I never take it off, I haven't taken it off in like three years. They're the fucking best. It's like a part of me, like they're fucking amazing. Um, just everything. All right, sorry, no, I don't care, shut up. Okay, so, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, no, I don't remember. Stop. Um, I, what am I gonna say? I just have like, a lot of stuff talking, yeah, yeah, this coffee place. So I go to the same coffee place every day and what the point of the story is that like, I am so, there was literally a guy, shut up! And shut up, shut the fuck up, I'm not kidding right now, just shut up. I don't care what you have to say. Like, you don't understand, we've already done this a million times. Do not, do not post a rebuttal here. If you don't agree with me, I don't care. And you're fucking ugly. 100% you're ugly, okay? Do not. All right, now that we have that out of the way, I'm not even joking, like, don't fuck with me. Get the fuck off of my channel. You're so embarrassing, fool, fucking fool. Like, you're, you're so embarrassing, stop, okay? Um, there was this guy, I'm not even joking, like young guy. I'm not talking about a fucking grandfather, okay? I'm not talking about an old man. I would never talk about an old man, idiot. Okay, shut up. Someone like my age or younger walking around outside with a mask on. Like, I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. You literally, like, okay. I would, you have no idea. I'm telling you the truth right now. You literally dried me up so much. Like, I'm not even kidding. I, all of a sudden, my vagina just got so dry. I like, it like turned into the fucking Sahara Desert. Like the fucking Sahara Desert. I literally turned gay. I turned gay at that, at that moment, I swear to God. Like I would so much rather a fucking alpha lesbian butch lesbian than a fucking beta male. I am so sick of it, dude. I'm so fucking sick of it, okay? 
And like I told you, get the fuck off of my channel with your rebuttal. I don't care. Like, I honestly don't care. Shut up, okay? Anyway, um, so then that like kind of led me to like think about, well, I'm not sure if I tweeted this before or after, um, but like unvaxxed sperm, like, oh my God, like you guys don't even know like how much like a beta man would, a beta male turns women off. Like I swear to God, like it is so disgusting. Um, I would so much, you guys, you guys have been following me on Instagram. If you haven't been blocked, whatever, you see what I post. I don't always post my tweets on there, but sometimes I'm like, damn, like this is like too good. Like everyone needs to see this. I'm like, yes, I will take, I will take credit for it. Like, no, I said it first. Like, um, you know what, to be honest, like, okay, to be honest, we know everyone copies me. Like we know it. And I'm really tired of the ugly bitches coming out after me about my eyes. Like, I'm not going to repeat it again. I've never said that I created this bitch. Okay who created it was like Sophia Loren or something back in the fucking 50s or 40s, whatever the fuck it was. And no one has done it since. Like, okay, like one person probably, but tell me where you saw it, bitch. You didn't, no one does this eye. So shut the fuck up. No one does this eye. I'm so sick of it. Like, people come for me my eyes. Shut up. Shut your damn mouth. I'm kidding. I'm so sick and tired of it. You're fucking ugly. Honestly, I'm done. Like, it's really ir irritating. What the fucking, trying to come on my page and like, tell me that I didn't do this first. Like, who did it? Who did it first? Show me this. Sh screenshot this eye, you dumb fuck. Screenshot this fucking eye and tell me who did it. Cause no one did it like this. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna show you guys some shit. I went to, I went to um, New Orleans and I wanna talk about a little bit about it because I know you guys are wondering and I feel like New a lot of people go to New, New Orleans. I feel like it's just like the place people go. To be honest, I never like thought I really wanted to go. I never like whatever, but my, I went for like a family thing and um, I actually really loved it. Like the weather was so extreme. I can't live there, obviously. I would die. Like, I don't know how people live in extreme weathers. I, weather, I, I just don't understand. Like, I, I don't get it. Like, I can't live there. Like, I'm, it's miserable. I don't, I don't understand. But this, like, you guys know, anywhere with like history or culture or something like that, I'm like dead over it. Like, it's just, so sick like I thought New Orleans and um whatever it was just really really cool like I really really liked it and loved to see whatever it was I was very impressed like very cool and anyone who doesn't like it, it's kind of weird like what how can you not like like something that's so historic it's been there forever like how do you even have like the nerve to judge you know what I mean so anyway really loved it and I feel like everyone was really nice and it's just it was fun like I don't know it was very cool I love like I love to experience history and culture and something other than California. You know what I mean? I don't know. You guys know that. So it was really cool. Um, loved it except for the weather hard. All right. So let me just show you guys. I got some, I didn't really shop or anything. I just, we just ate coffee, beignets, things like that. I did go to this coffee, um, the, what was it? Cafe du Monde. I knew it was like basically a tourist trap. I, I knew it wasn't going to be like worth it or whatever. But I really, to honest, I know you got, to honest to God, it was not worth it at all. Like really stupid, but I know that I, I wanted to just eat it or try the coffee and the um, beignet just to say I did it. I would feel like I would have regretted it if I hadn't. The line was ridiculous. It was so hot. It was probably like an hour in the line. The, I, I thought the coffee was really good. I got the um, black coffee and chicory or something. And it was so good, so fucking good. You guys know I hate everything about coffee. Like it has to be perfect. It was so good. I drank the whole thing. Um, beignets, I thought they were horrible. They were like dense, like cold. They weren't good, okay? I didn't think they were good at all. Not impressed. But then like the next day we went to the cafe beignet down the street and there was no line. I got the same coffee and I got beignets and the beignets were way better there. So if you're not gonna feel like, I don't know, if you go, you don't, you're not missing out if you don't go here at all. But I know that like if you're a tourist, you go. Okay, anyway. um. I got this little thing. There's a lot of like art there everywhere and I'm really particular about what I bring in my house. You guys know that like, I really like anything I bring in my house, it has to be like perfect. And I don't know what it, it you guys know that even like up to like the forks, the straws, like anything has to like have a vibe or I, I don't want it. This is a little bit, one of those things where like, I was trying to find something to bring home for so I could remember the trip by and I don't usually do that but only because I feel like New Orleans had so much art. You know what I mean? Like it was just cool and I wanted to get something. Um, I didn't like anything. A lot of it was like jazz and like jazz kind of theme and stuff, but I'm not like a big jazz fan. So I don't know, I found this and I'll open it with you guys. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I also like that it was like, 
I wanted to make sure it was like painted or done there, you know, like in Louisiana or in. Anyway, also you guys are gonna kill me. I'm gonna say something and you guys are gonna hate me for it, but I don't care. It's the truth. Shut up. Okay, so I got this and um, I, th I think I'm gonna get like a little like acrylic, e acrylic easel for it. I don't know. I don't even, I just bought it to buy it, okay? Kind of like one of those things I kind of regret. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm, I don't have anywhere to put it. Like I don't have place for like stuff. But I think it's really cute, St. Louis Hotel. Okay, so it's like a tile that someone made and she makes like different, like like different scenes or buildings in like this of the city, I guess. And I don't know, I don't even know this hotel, but there is a hotel there. And it says New Orleans, the birthplace of jazz and the city that care forgot. I don't know what that means, but like her signature's on the back and it's like handmade tile and it wasn't expensive. I don't know, I just really like it. I thought it was cute and I think it'd be, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Like, I hate Chotskys. I hate them so much. Like, oh, so, to, honest, to be honest, it gives me so much anxiety. Like my, I think it's cause like my parents love, they have like, my parents like house, they like love Chotskys, I feel like. It's like not Chotskys, they're very, they collect things that are nice, but like I, to me, it just feels like Chotsky stuff. And I just don't like things like that. Like everything has to have a purpose. I, I, I don't want like, like this is, so like actually, <laughs> I brought my mom to the store. I was like, you think you'll like these? And she ended up buying three different ones. So like, you see what I mean? So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but anyway, okay, that. I don't know why I bought it. It's honestly giving me anxiety. Like, I don't know what to do with it. It's the weirdest thing. Like, do you guys, are you guys like that? Like, what the fuck am I gonna do with that? I mean, I like put it away and like, I, I, and like my, I don't know, like put it away, like refer to it and like see it and like remember my time there. I don't fucking know. Okay. Um. Okay, I got other things too. I have a lot of things to show you. I got these shoes, I really like them. Did I show you guys these? I didn't get them in New Orleans, I got them here, but the Palm Angels, they're men's. I really like them, they're on sale. Um, and I really like them a lot. They're like Birkenstocks, but like vibey. So I've been wearing those like all the time with socks and not socks, stuff like that. Um, really, really, I have other things to show you, but um, oh my God, you guys. Why is there a gardener right now? You hear that? Like, why is there a gardener? Anyway, I just wanna talk about like, okay, so I wanna talk about the food a little bit, um, only because I also wanna talk about like traveling with traveling with someone that like you, you're better suited to. And I told you guys, like, I don't even know, like, like well, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. It's whatever I wanna talk about. It's like, I just talk, why say what I wanna say. But, um, I don't know how, I really wanna say this because I got so many like DMs, emails, um, messages, things like that from a lot of you guys out there being like, I just really love that you're sharing like your story about like your personal relationship and things like that because it's helping me a lot. And I feel like um, people are even older than me, my age, things like that, even younger, like, okay. So I kind of feel like I don't, I really want to share. I just don't want to look like I am like trying to like bre like like uh, tear someone else down. It's not even give a fuck. Like, you know what I mean? It's not that. Like, I, I just actually want to like talk about how I feel, you know, or like what the deal, like what, how, what, what's different, you know, what's different. So traveling with someone who, um, it's so bad. Okay. It's so different traveling with like someone who's into you. Like, let's just put it that way. Like, okay. It is so miserable being with someone who is just like not into you, like into you for like the wrong reasons. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not affectionate, like, not loving, not, you know, at all, any, anything, right? Like, cold, dead fish, you know what I mean? Like, boring, at, like, anything. Like, you go, you want to go eat at a restaurant, and they, like, don't have the same appetite as you or taste as you. It's just, like... And I don't think I'm like an abnormal person where I am like wanting to eat the weirdest kind of food or like have sex 25 times a day. You know what I mean? Like, I think I'm a pretty normal person as far as like, you know, when you go to a different city and you want to try or you want to like go to like the, uh, you know, whatever you want to try their cuisine or eat, like whatever, or you go to a steakhouse and you want to eat like steak and like try some of the sides. You know what I mean? Like not everything has to be like, fucking LA, like, you know, healthy all the time. Like, it doesn't have to be like that. Like, you can like, you know what I mean? Like you can enjoy life a little bit, especially if you're traveling. 
especially if you're traveling too, to like have a sexual connection is like just so important or it just becomes like the most miserable time ever. And so I don't know, this trip, I've been, you guys know with my new boyfriend, it's like weird even saying that, I don't know why, because he's not, to, to you guys he's new, but to me, and that's another thing I wanna say too, is that I already told you fucking idiots, okay? Don't fucking, this is a thing, use your fucking ears, okay? Listen to what I'm saying, moron, dumb fuck. So I've already told you a million times, like people are like, oh my God, she got a new boyfriend. She like met him like two weeks ago, like, put, like talking about love of her life. Like you're so stupid. Like you're so stupid, I don't even listen, dumbass. Um, I already told you that I met him like basically two years ago when we first started the divorce proceedings, okay? Shit fucking didn't work out, dumb fuck, okay? And now we're hanging out again, so shut up, okay? So I've already known him and it's been like, five, six months, all right, this time around. So just, I don't have to explain anything to you, but don't fucking try and pay me out to be a fucking dumbass bitch, because I'm not. That's you, okay, that's you, thank you. Like I said, this may or may not work out. It's not like I'm like, oh my God, like, you know what I mean? Just, it's just, you guys are so fucking irritating. <sighs> anyway, so um, over the past five months, you guys saw I went skiing, things like that. Like, I've obviously been traveling with him, you know what I mean? And um, while the divorce is like just waiting, we're just, you know, I'm waiting for like, to, whatever. You know, you have to wait for like the, to go through the court, California court. So um, that's just it. And what I was gonna say is like, it's just so much, oh my God, I wish I could tell you guys like some of like the details. Like you go on a trip with like a guy you're married to or you're dating and like you have, you like, you don't even like kiss one time. Like you don't even like, like you don't even do that. Like, you don't even do that. Like I'm sorry. Like and you expect to have a good relationship. Like why are we together? Like I like really like to know why we're together. Like I'm sorry. Like, it's the fucking weirdest thing. Like I don't know why is my. And by the way, I put in like this color. My hair started getting like really light. Like it was so weird. I don't know why. So I got this like rinse out color stuff from Ulta, and I don't really like it. It's like not the prettiest. So I think it's just gonna wash out. I'll leave it alone. But. Um, that's, if you guys are wondering, my hair color is different. That's why. Um, I don't know what happened. I don't, I actually don't even know what happened. I wasn't even sitting in the sun, but, um, this, anyway, these trips I've been on like recently with the, the new boyfriend, whatever. I don't want to talk about like details. I don't know why I feel weird talking about spouses. It's like, I don't care. It's stupid. Um, it's just so different. Like it's so normal. Like we get coffee together. We try new food. We, uh, we have like chemistry, like, you know, we are like, loving together it's just it's so weird the way it was so i didn't have that forever you know what i mean so things are just normal now not like i don't know it just feels so much different it's weird um but i want to say that because i feel like i want to give you guys a little bit of just what my life is about every time i don't know whenever i feel like sharing it i will and i only am because you guys are basically telling me how it's helping you and you want to hear and you're going through shit too and all that and i don't know um, are you guys, did you guys sign up for Facebook yet? I hope you did. <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys my, I mean, I feel like a lot of you guys are listening to my advice. It's actually really good advice. Okay, so do you guys remember the sunglasses that I was gonna try to find last week? Last week? Um, they were at Saks, they were like the men's Tom Ford. And then I went to whatever, I didn't find them. Okay, so I was like walking around, around not Bourbon Street, but like Royal Street, like one of the streets there. Bourbon's like too crazy for me. It's like, we, I went there a couple of times, but it's just like a fucking like club everywhere. It's like too much for me. This is like not my scene. But um, anyway, I found these, they're $17. And actually, I actually really fucking like them. I really hate cheap sunglasses. I'm not like a cheap sunglass person. Um, don't worry. There's like um, obviously a murder going on. So we'll just wait. I don't even know how I can hear that. Literally a murder going on like right now. So we'll just wait for that to happen. Don't worry, I'm back in LA apparently. Are you fucking serious right now? What the fuck? I just feel like that's so rude. It all of a sudden just like stopped. I feel like they're like on the street or something. Anyway, I don't really like cheap sunglasses. I don't know what it is. I just don't, there's things that I just feel like I can't do that are cheap. Like I can do cheap clothes. And by the way, like my nose looks so fat with sunglasses sometimes. It's like so annoying. We know the problem. I can't order because I have that bump. Like who the hell wears their sunglasses like that? Honestly, if you're wearing your sunglasses like this, just kill yourself, okay? Um, 
anyway, so it should be like this, like, I guess. I mean, I don't know. Like, I wear it like this, but then I look like I have a really fat nose here. I don't know why it's, like, obnoxious, but... Um, so I like these, and they're, like, $17. And I, like, saw them, and I was like, oh, my God, those kind of look like they could be a vibe. And I really like them. I think they're very 70s. And I think they're cute. Um, really, like, I would I was like, oh my god, I was so excited I found these. I was like, oh my god, I would like have come here just to get these. <laughs> okay, um, then I want to talk about this. In my last video, this is from Anastasia, and they sent me this. Some of the followers out there work for Anastasia, and you guys sent me a gift box. Thank you so much. Um, they sent me some contour stuff in like pots, kind of like the Tan de Soleil from um, Chanel, but not as orange, so it's really nice. Um, I've been using those too, but this I really love. Okay, you guys need this. It's peachy keen, and this is, it makes you look so young. I don't know what it is. And obviously we don't have the same color. So if we don't have the same coloring, then, you know, it's not gonna work, but like, it, it, you know, I don't know. Like, well, how it looks on me, it may not look on you. I don't know. We know what I mean? Like, swatches doesn't matter. If you like it, buy it, shut up. So I do this, and I kinda do a lot. See what I mean? Do you not see how like all of a sudden I look so young? I don't get it, and I do it like on here too. And I just feel like, like, why do I look young, younger all of a sudden? It's just, I look like, I look like I have, like, I like belong at like the baby beach. Like I'm just like a, like an infant, right? Like I just look so, I don't know what it is. I fucking love this. It's like, the only thing is for some reason it doesn't last. So I just put this on before I started the video and I, I'm not sure. Let's watch if it goes away. Um, but I really, really like this a lot and I've been keeping it in my bag, by the way. Um, I still am carrying around this bag. I love it so much. Like I carried it, um, like on the plane and then I didn't carry it around the streets because it doesn't close. Um, but I really still like it. I've been using like every day. I fucking love this bag. It's the best. Like it's just my favorite. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is, I just want to kind of show you guys that I am still using that. I also am still using my Nivea perfume. So thank you so much who sent this to me. Um, love it. I also have another perfume I'll show you guys. I have like another scent. I got it at, so I stayed at the Ritz Carlton when we were there um, in Louis in New Orleans and oh, it smells so good. Um, they had like, obviously I went to the gift shop and I bought like a Ritz, Louis, like Ritz New Orleans hat. I love like buying hats, like cute hats, like, like bougie hats from like bougie hotels, right? Where you stay. The thing is though, bitch, you know what? I notice people do, which is so stupid. Like you don't even stay at the hotel and you go in the gift shop, gift shop and buy the hat. Like don't do it. Okay, that's fucking phony bitch. Okay, you're phony bitch. Don't do it. It's weird. Okay, um, like don't do it. Don't, okay. Um, I have some other things to show you guys. I wanna show you all this. You're gonna be really excited. Okay, a subscriber, Phyllis, she sent me this Hermes lipstick. It's the Rose Tan. You guys need it. Like it's kind of it's kind of like really gross how good this color is. Like Do you see that? It's just a perfect nude color, nude nude pink color. And after I do my liner, I put it here, and it's really a nice very subtle lipstick. I don't like the look of lipsticks. Like I'm wearing like lipstick. I have to do the liner because I have ugly lips. We know that. Um and then I love this for just a little bit of color. It kind of just like gives my face a little bit of brightness. I just, you know what I mean? I don't want to look like obvious. Um, I mean, obviously I'm wearing lip liner, I know, but you know what I mean by the color. Okay. Then I have these two things to show you. Okay. I went in the gift shop and um, I bought, I smelled this, this brand, Toka. I know everyone has this, right? And I hate it. Like it's so ugly, and that's why I didn't want to buy it ever. Because okay, I'm really in love with gardenia smells. Like I love gardenia. I love jasmine. Um, I really love those. And I've, I've I don't know if I've smelled this before, but this is like the, the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like it's so ugly. It's such not a vibe. It's so ugly. Like you know how much more you could sell probably if you didn't have an ugly bottle. Like it's just so ugly. There's nothing appealing about this at all to me. Like. That's why I didn't want to buy it, but it just smells so good. And you guys know with me, I don't know if you know that about me. I just read it. I love scents and music. So it's like, I love to do different scents. Cause I'll always remember the scent from New Orleans kind of thing. It's just, I love like moments. I love like remembering things. I don't know what it is, okay? So um, what happened was I went in the gift shop and I bought the, I bought the lotion of it because this was so ugly. I just don't want it like in my presence even. 
Like it just ruins my vibe. Like where am I gonna put this? Like to be honest, I don't even know where I'm gonna, I know a lot, a lot of you guys are like, oh my God, I love it. I love the bottle, it's so pretty. Like what are you talking about? I have all of them, it's so pretty. It's not, stop, it's not. If you think this is pretty, like I don't understand. Like what's pretty about this? It's ugly, okay, stop. Um, so I bought this because I just did not want this. Like this bottle, like no, I really wanted the scent. I was like, Ugh. So the next day I went back down cause I forget why, I just really want that smell. So I fucking bought it and I, I just love the smell, but I'm annoyed and it's like so obnoxiously heavy. Like it is so heavy. It's like so much glass, like bitch, you think I'm stupid? Like I can see where the fucking, I can see how much glass there is and how much perfume you're giving me, it's nothing. So you don't have to like make it so heavy to make it try and trick me into me thinking that I'm getting a lot of perfume. I know it's a fucking obnoxiously heavy, stupid bottle. Like it's ugly. I'm never gonna like look at it. I'm putting it away. Um, it's too ugly, okay? And then there's like a paper, like it's ugly. It's so cheap. Like I really hate it. It's unfortunate. Like it's really unfortunate. This is better. It's not, I just don't really like, it's like, what is this like garden shabby chic vibe is that what that is like it's just so it's so off-putting to me like guard like is this garden shabby chic like what is this i don't know like i don't like it it's not even grandma it's just like you just just they don't get the vibe you know what i mean they just don't get it okay i think who gets the vibe more i already ruined it oh i didn't okay thank god i think that the more okay am i gonna show you this look how cute this is like isn't this the cute i got this in the travel aisle Okay, it is the little Johnson & Johnson's baby lotion. And look, how, look at the shape. Like, look at that shape. Okay, do you not like get, do you not see how that's like a cute vintage shape? For some reason, it just feels like very 70s to me. Okay, and then look at the top, how it opens. I don't know, it just like, it just looks nice, okay? I love it. And you guys know what the Johnson & Johnson's baby lotion smells like. Okay, so this is like really cute, okay? This is like a vibe. This is fucking disgusting. Like, I don't even know. I hate it. Like, I really hate it. Um, yeah. So I'm just like driving home too. Um, I made, okay, first of all, I made this, first before I, I talk about my driving home thing just now, um, I was, okay, last night I made, because I told you I was a fat, oh yeah, I don't tell you. Um, you're gonna get so mad at me, but I don't care, it's true. Um, and you know it's true, and I don't care. I don't care, so shut up. Every, why is everyone so fat? <laughs> like, no offense. Like, everyone is so, what do I have here? Like, I swear, it's like, I don't. I feel like there's always something in my nose, but there's not. Um, why is, okay, I'm not kidding. Like, I was a supermodel in New Orleans. Like, everyone is so fat. Like, what the fuck? I swear to God, like, okay, then I went on the swamp tour. Oh my God, like, I had to go on the swamp tour because um, my niece, that's what she wanted to do for her birthday, swamp tour, <laughs> so funny. Um, and so we went there and I was like, oh my God, like, everyone is not even just kind of fat. Like, I'm not joking, fat, okay? Like, huge. And it's gotta be the food. Like, we went to dinner that night and like, every single last thing is fried. Like I, we shared, like my boyfriend and I shared um, this fried pork chop, dude. It was so fucking good. I was like, oh my God, this is like the best thing ever. It was like this fried ass pork chop. Um, I also want to say something else. Like I know like, we went to like a lot of the um, restaurants too. Like the ones that you got, a lot of you guys recommended and like whatever his, our friends like recommended us to go to certain ones. And okay, for my, so we went for my brother's whatever family thing. I don't talk about it. You guys know. Um, so we, for like our one family dinner we went out to, we went to Commander's and a lot of you guys who live in New Orleans or who know about it will know a lot of you guys, not a lot of you guys, some of you guys told me to go and, um, it's like driving there was really cool because you could see all of like the most beautiful, like New Orleans style houses, like so gorgeous, like the balconies, just so fucking pretty. Oh my God. Like it's like a dream houses for me. Anyway. So I was expecting like, dude, we're in New Orleans. I want like, I, the only thing that like we were eating the whole time was like oysters, gumbo, Creole, like Creole stuff. I don't fucking know. I don't know, I don't get it. I didn't have turtle soup. I couldn't do it. Like just the thought of it made me sick. Like I'm, I am pretty adventurous, but I can't eat turtle soup. Like I just can't. 
Um, like when I live in China, I, yeah, I did try chicken feet, but that's chicken, so it doesn't seem so off. Like I just can't do that. Um, he had like alligator or something. I just couldn't do it. Like I don't, you know what I mean? I don't know. It's not really for me. Um, and so we went to Commanders. I was expecting like very Southern, like very Southern, like Commanders, right? You go to like someone called somewhere Commanders in, in an old like mansion. It's like an old house or something that's now a restaurant. And you go in there and like you, you assume it's gonna be like real Southern food, right? So anyway, the, the guy, like our waiter told us that it's like Moroccan Thai fusion. Like what the fuck? Like see what I mean? Like why is everyone so fucking woke? Like it's just so irritating. I was like, wait, what? Like who? Like why? I didn't say it, but I was thinking like, we all look at each other like, what the fuck? Like this is so stupid. Like why did you do that? People are not coming here for that, you fucking idiots. Okay, like some dumbass, some dumbass in the kitchen chef. Like it's just irritating. Okay, like I was irritated. So then like we ordered the pork chop or something. This pork chop was different, and there was like. Dude, it like wasn't good, okay? It was stupid. Like it was so dumb. I was like so disappointed. The salad was okay. But I'm irritated. Either way, I'm irritated because like I that was like one of the meals that I was like so excited to try. Okay, so then we went to like, for example, we went to this place called Felix and it was like this little hole in the wall kind of, not hole in the wall, but it's a restaurant that's been there since like, I don't know, it, it, like 1910 or something. I don't even know, probably before that. And they just like do like quick, not quick, but like regular food. Like, I don't know. Anyway, I had the see like a paella kind of seafood gumbo, not gumbo. What's the one with the rice and like andouille sausage and like shrimp and chicken. And it's like, what, anyway, it was like, tasted like soul food. It tasted like fucking like, I tasted like what it's spoke like that. What the fuck, man? I don't want, what am I going, Moroccan and fucking Thai? Like, I'm sorry. You're so irritating. Okay. You're so irritating. So anyway, the pork chop they gave us had like bean, like like garbanzo beans, and it was like very like Moroccan-ish. Like I'm so, what the fuck? Like so stupid, so irritated, like dumb. Check yourself, okay? So dumb. Honestly, I was so pissed. Like I was so pissed because it could have gone somewhere else, and like everyone said to go there, or not everyone, but like I don't know. I guess no one really knew, right? No one knew that it was like anyway, anyway, dumb. Like skip commanders, okay? Not worth it. Um. Sad, it wasn't even, it wasn't, it was like, there was nothing even great about anything, okay? Um, anyway, then we went to like, okay, stop. But I just wanna like tell you that, cause it's been like, honest, to be honest, it's been irritating me since that happened. Like, I really can't get over it. Like, why did you do that? You know what I mean? Like, why? I really wanna know, like, why would you do that? Like, I actually want to know, cause it's really stupid. It's like this, bitch, it's like this, okay. It's like this, stop. It's like, people come to California from, I don't know where, Ohio, I don't fucking know, I'm just making some shit up. And they probably come to Southern California and they wanna get like Mexican food, right? Okay, and they go to this place, that everyone tells them to go, and they sit down and they order the food, and then the, the guy tells them, oh, well, this is a, I'm gonna make, I don't even fucking know, Alaskan and Japanese fusion Mexican place. Do you not see what I mean? Like, you're stupid, you're so stupid, you're so woke. Stop it! Just stop. Like, it really makes me mad. No one is going to Commanders, okay, for Moroccan and Thai fusion. They're not. Like, it's just so dumb. Like, why are you stupid like that? Why are you so stupid? What the fuck's your problem? I'm already exhausted. Like, I'm already, I'm already fucking annoyed. Anyway, so I'm just driving home right now. Wow, there's obviously another murder going on today. So that there better be like 4,000 people dead. Like what the hell is going on? Like why are we turning on the sirens just to be fucking obnoxious? I'm literally, I'm literally back in LA. Like I'm fucking literally back in LA. Okay, um, so I was driving home right now and I had like this thought because there was like, I was, okay, this is a thing, bitch. Like no one cuts me off. Like, are you like that? Like no one cuts me off. Like I, I don't drive slow or I don't drive um, I'm very courteous. We, we know that. We know I'm very courteous, okay? Like, I don't hold people up in line. I don't hold people up at lights. Like, if I do, I apologize. You know what I mean? Like, the, if I, like, if I fuck up or something, I apologize. Like, I don't like discourteous people. This guy just got, like, a brand new Lexus. Like, this, some fucking moron got this most embarrassing looking Lexus I've ever seen. Okay, bitch. Like, we all know this is the thing. Like, you're gonna get mad at me, but I don't care, okay? You may make a channel about having a shitty car if you'd like. If you'd like to do that, you can do it. You can go make a, uh, make a channel and you can talk about your opinions on owning a shitty car and what you think. But 
Until you do, shut the fuck up, okay? It's my channel. And don't pay me out to be any which way because I'm allowed to say what I like to say. It's true. So, um, I was driving home. This guy is looking obnoxious. Okay, also, if you have a, co a car that's an obnoxious color, it better be a $300,000 car. Why do you have a little stupid, it's like a rice rocket, right? In an obnoxious, cheap fucking car, in a, in a, in like an obnoxious color, bitch. You know how, you know you look like a fool, right? You look embarrassing. Like you're actually embarrassing yourself to get a car that is not a supercar or it's not some kind of a Rolls Royce or something in a highly obnoxious, or Lambo, in a highly obnoxious color. You're a phony bitch. You're a phony bitch. You look stupid. You look like a fool. People are making fun of you. You don't look cool. You actually look very cheap. It looks very cheap, okay? If you're going to have a, a car, like a, a, a car that you, it's one of those cars where like people maybe think it's like a really expensive car, but you know it's not, okay? It's a Lexus, bitch. Calm the fuck down. This fucking asshole cut me the fuck off so bad. Like I don't even want to race. He didn't want to race. I don't race, okay? I don't need to race. Like my dick's already that big. I don't need to race. Like we know, bitch, stop, okay? I will, I will humiliate you. I will, turn, I will, I will get in front of you, humiliate you. Okay, well, every time, without looking even like, without even looking, without even doing it hard. Like, I will school you down every time. Okay, and I don't even like do it with like big dick energy. I just end up like humiliating you. Okay. Anyway, this guy like was irritating. He already had like this fucking dumb Lexus, like his brand new one. It looks like shit. It wasn't even cute. Like, it's not even like this. I'm gonna say it straight out. If you're uglier than me, okay. If you're not hotter than me. Do not criticize me. Do not critique me. Critique me, okay? If your car is cheaper than my car, do not cut me off. You look like a fool. And I tweeted that. Yes, I did. And it's the truth, okay? Do you not understand? You look like a fucking idiot. You're embarrassing yourself. Sit down. Sit down. You're embarrassed. Do you think I would ever cut off like a Rolls Royce? I would never, dude. Like, that's embarrassing. Do you think, oh my God, also, also bitch, like we all know I have like the, I have the, the 550 for like the, the G wagon. I'm not gonna go cut off the AMG. Like that's embarrassing. Like, yeah, bitch, I need to sit the fuck back. You're right. Like, I don't have that one. Like I'm embarrassing myself if I do that. I was also thinking about getting a sticker <laughs> on my G top. Damn, this is not good. Like I really have to get this fixed. It's some, I don't know what's wrong with it. That's like not good. Okay, I was thinking about getting a sticker on my GT. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, on the um, on the 550, the G-Wagon, being like, my AMG is in the garage or something. <laughs> because like, bitch, I have an AMG, okay? Like, I'm, this is my thing. Like, I already have the AMG. Like, why the fuck would I get a, a truck AMG? Like, why would I do that? It's just like, you don't, it's so stupid. I, I don't understand, like, I mean, I, it's not like I cheaped out. I just don't, I don't understand why I would get, like, a big engine in, in a truck. Like, I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to, like, commute to work. You know what I mean? Or, like, like carry things in the trunk that are, like, oversized. Or I don't even know, like, at groceries. I, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to, like, race. So I don't understand, like, the AMG. But, but I just want people to know, bitch, that, like, if I do cut you off, don't worry. It's because I have fucking GT in the garage. <laughs> You're going to kill me. Okay, so, um... I was gonna say is, so this guy cut me off, in, but you, did, did you hear what I said? I said that if you're not hotter than me, like don't critique me. And if you have a shittier car than me, do not cut me off. Like you look so embarrassing. Like people are laughing at you, it's dumb. Um, I actually think that's, that's actually true. That's actually true, okay? Like I, you know what, you may not like my advice, but my advice is true, okay? I'm actually helping you out. Like you can hate me for giving you, for giving you like real advice, but that's all you're gonna get here, okay? Um, the next thing I'll talk about, okay, so last night, I, I know what I was saying, is that I um, I ate a lot, right, when I was in, that's where like, the food thing came up, I ate a lot when I was in, oh, this is my Capri, I forgot to show you, I put this on, this is the Capri bracelet, it's really sick, look at that, um, it also comes in a mini version, and it comes in a necklace too, and this is my um, Circa 90s Rome, I love these together, that's like a new a new combo I'm doing, okay, um, this is the Rue Pave, I love it, look at like, the, um, there's Pave links, like every, I think four links, there's every four links, there's pave. I love it. And this is the 15 inch, just so you guys know. Okay, um, what I was gonna say is, oh yeah, so I ate a lot, so I'm like on detox now. And I think it was actually really good. Like I didn't even have a whole beignet, I had like half of one beignet. 
And I don't, you don't need the whole thing, you fat ass, okay? You don't need the fucking whole beignet. Like, sit the fuck down. Like, stop. Just have a bite. Have a couple bites. Throw it away. Like, why are you a fat pig? So, it's true. Like, you don't need everything. It's so weird. Like, why would you do that? Why the fuck would you sit around and eat the whole beignet? Something wrong with you? Um, like, you had a bite. That's enough. Like, it's not going to get better after that. So dumb. Get, give yourself, like, half of the beignet and, like, and, like eat it slowly. So um, I'm on like this, I'm on the detox again now, like the HRH detox where I'm just really careful about what I eat. And I made like my skinny chicken soup last night. Oh my God, dude, I got something you're going to hate me. And I'm telling you right now, you don't do this. So shut up. I found something. Did I tell you guys that I'm like allergic to like raw onions and like garlic? I don't know what it is about it. I can't process it. Like my mouth tastes like it for fucking Oh, like, oh, till the next day. Even if I brush my teeth, everything, okay? Like, I can just still taste it in my mouth. Like, it gets stuck on my hands. Like, I just hate it. I don't know what it is. Like, it doesn't. And then also, I get like, I feel like I get sick from it. Like, it just doesn't process well. Like, I get like, what's the word? Like, an upset, an upset stomach from it. Like, it makes me actually, my, like, it doesn't make me feel, feel good. I don't know what it is. Like, it really irritates me. So I'm really, even though I love the idea of like, you guys know I love really spicy things, I love flavors, things like that. I really miss garlic and I love onions. I think I can do like grilled onions and things like that, it's fine. But I saw this yesterday when I went to the supermarket because I wanted to make my skinny soup. I saw this and shut up, just shut up, okay? I don't care, I'm sure you know about it, but you don't use it like this, so shut up. Okay, so um, this is minced garlic and it's dried. And it's like crunchy, okay? It's so good. So after I made my soup, I like put this all over the top. Bitch, oh my God, it's so good. Like it gives it like this crunch. It's so amazing, like garlic crunch. Like this shouldn't be called minced garlic. It should be called garlic crunch. It's so good. Put this on everything. Like, I don't know why it's so good. It's like, you know the dried onion flakes? Those like kind of get stuck in your teeth, right? Like this kind of do too but not as bad as so smaller or something. I don't know. I really like this. Like my new thing. I think that's everything. Okay. Then I got this from William Sonoma. It's fattening, but if you drain the, I already strained a lot of the oil out of it. Like in one tablespoon, it's 25 calories, but it's, it's so, you need to get this. It's the Cal, Calabrian, Calabrian, chilies in oil. Dude. Okay. I'm going to have to have a bite with you. My Aladdin bread. You guys know the Aladdin bread. For some reason, the Aladdin bread is a lot more sourdough taste, sourdoughy lately. Look at that! Look at that. I don't know what's going on. It it, it still says <gasps> it does say sourdough bread. <laughs> Fuck, I got the wrong one. It's really good though. Okay, let me show you how good this is. I wish you guys could taste this with me. Go get this from William Sonoma. It's like the best thing in the world. I use it with everything, um, and I just put like a little bit like that. Oh my God, it is so good. I'm gonna put some of the um, garlic on here. Let me show you. Okay. I'm gonna do that. Oh my God. That garlic is so fucking bomb. So in love. I put this all over my soup and then guys, my soup came out so good yesterday. I already have a skinny chicken soup recipe in here. Um and it's it's just like the bomb. It's so good. I made it I made it so good yesterday. But these are like my new kind of flavors. I also use my Valentina hot sauce. Um sorry, there's like garlic everywhere all over my table now. Everyone's like, oh my god, stop irritating okay um oh, that was like <coughs> it's so spicy it's so good though okay um okay so this is my um bag for this is my hrh bag for um showroom shopping and they're really nice bags like and they are very chanel -y, like the same kind of vibe all right let me just show you guys the colors you guys are loving the hrh skin sets and um i didn't even i said i told you i was going to show you them in my last video and i didn't I'm just gonna show you. I don't think I have all the sets here because I wore them when I was in Louisiana. 
but I want to show you the colors. This is one of the HRH Easy. Sorry, it's all turned out because I was wearing it. I actually wore it on my Insta story today. Okay, um, so here's the top. It looks like a sports bra, but it's not. You guys saw my pictures, it, go it goes much lower. And then the HRH little tag on it. Okay, so cute, the dripping heart. And it has this really, let me show you how luxe this is, I don't, and buttery. And then it has like the micro ribbing, which I really love. So this is HRH Easy, and it's just that perfect like vanilla color. It's so soft, so flattering. Those pictures that I put up, just so you guys know, of me in this are not edited at all. Like that's how, that's how easy these are to wear. They're that good. So really nice, thicker control top than my uh, skinny, and then a different ribbing. These are like a flatter ribbing, just so you know. And then the Casino, there's my other pair of these. Casino, I think this is the right color, yeah, okay. Uh, sometimes it comes out different on the site or on the um, viewfinder, but here's Casino. It reminds me of like a really rich 1970s, like Tangier Casino vibe color. Um, and I love this. It's like a Bordeaux color. There, I don't know if you can see. Really nice color. And then of course, black. And then here's the black top. But look at the micro ribbing and then a big thick band on the uh, tank as well, and then really nice, thick and comfy straps. Okay, so those are those, and um, I think the 